Hi doers! I'm Dr. L. So traveling, of course, has come up in discussion on Do Network. You know, my love of travel and anything intercultural, really. And I've shared some moments with you of a few of the places I've gone. Let's discuss something not usually told to pack when traveling. I'd say to take this with you whenever and wherever you go, traveling or not. But because we're focusing on traveling right now, be sure to travel with your cultural competence. Let's discuss four things to keep in mind when traveling to or entering or interacting with another culture. The first is respect. Most importantly is to respect the culture in which you're entering, whether traveling to another country or neighborhood or city in your local area. Even if not fully understanding everything about that culture, respect its traditions, practices, music, style of dress, transportation, language and dialects, foods, and so on and so forth. Respect in this case means not to mock or speak negatively of or laugh at negative stereotypes and impressions or jokes intending to portray another culture and not speaking up against negative stereotypes and this can be very difficult when it's someone close or dear to us. And might I add, false statements made about another culture because generalizations and statements made about another culture are not only unfair, but they tend to be inaccurate. You don't have to be rude or negative when speaking up against these things, but instead using them as a learning and a teaching moment. No need to be rude because any and everything can be combated in a gentle manner. Keep it classy and attempt to understand the other person's perspectives. When entering another culture, remember to be courteous. Yes, some cultures do not all have the same as what you might call manners as you do, but it does not mean for you to lose your manners. Greeting people Again, depending on the culture, because this could be a little weird or not condoned in some cultures by having a stranger say hello or smile at them. So keep in mind and be cognizant of where you are and with whom you're interacting. You also want to keep the please and thank you as we've learned from earlier. Even if not saying it verbally, you want to show that gratitude, at least in your expressions, to respect the other person's or people's presence or existence in your space. Respect other viewpoints or other lifestyles or other beliefs. You don't have to like them or even agree, but you do need to respect it. Remember, you're in someone else's home, so respect it. A quick note, and I'll say this again to anyone. If you're traveling to another country or entering another culture, do not say that you are tired of the food because, well, you should have stayed home. For example, if you're in Lithuania, Peru, South Africa, Korea, or anywhere else on the globe, and say that you're tired of Lithuanian, Peruvian, South African, or Korean food, or wherever you are, that can be a sign of disrespect. Don't say things also as the people dress strangely or weirdly. That's disrespectful. And here's another, probably one of the favorites, <laughs> calling the residents of the other country in which you entered, foreigners, or say that they speak a foreign language. Remember, you're the one who left your country to visit theirs, so you would be the foreigner. Keep in mind, again, respectful attitudes and mindsets when you are interacting with other cultures. 